Welcome back to the workshop. It's been a while, I've been busy, um, but I thought I'll do a follow up video about the angle grinder stand. Um, thanks for all the nice comments about this video or on the other ones, uh, and thanks, of course, for all the new subscribers. Uh, it's really nice to see that and to read all the comments. Um, just a quick update about the workshop because I've been busy. I moved to a new place and got a new workshop, uh, which we're in right now. It's a wooden workshop, it's uh, no isolation and still winter, so uh, pretty cold, as you can see. But um, it's really nice to have my own place next to my house, uh, where I can work, do some blacksmithing and metal work, and still have the opportunity to go to the other workshop, to work on the lathe or the mill, but uh, yeah. Here I can do uh, most of the metal work and have plans to build a new workshop on this ground uh, hopefully this summer. So I'll keep you updated about that one. Um, but let's get to the angle grinder uh, because I got a lot of requests about the dimensions and some other questions uh, and I thought I'll do a video about it because um, I could make a drawing, but then you would get absolute dimensions and I think it's better for you guys to get relative dimensions because the tool, uh, if you want to build your own version of it, has to fit your workshop and not mine. So um, yeah, let's get to the angle grinder. First let's talk about the build itself. Um, build a real solid stand. <laughs> um, some would e even say it's too solid or too heavy to work with but um, uh, I built it uh, because first I wanted to have it last a long time. Uh, I think it will. Some <laughs> even said it would outlast the Makita production line. Um, but I do have two of these angle grinders so let's see which one wins the competition. But um, uh, I designed this stand especially for smaller work. Um, uh, I've been working on a project where I make uh, grapes and grape clusters. Um, and I need to cut these and grind them. And if you have a real solid stand like this, uh, it's really nice because it has no vibrations, uh, no bending of vibrations, especially when you are working with the finer, uh, smaller stuff, it's really nice. And some basic advice on grinding like this or on a bench grinder. Um, make sure you put the part square or uh, on an angle downward and not upward. Because uh, if you put it upward then maybe the part will grab if you're not holding it tight enough. And it will grab and it will shoot away. And shooting metal bullets like this in the workshop is not a really good idea. So keep that in mind. If you want to build your own version of it, um, be aware that tools like this are only work for smaller stuff. Um, let's keep things safe, uh, especially when you're cutting material. Um, if you want to use bigger uh, uh, want to cut bigger material or tubing then you really need a vise to clamp it and need a bigger and uh, uh, cutting disc uh, please use something like this um, this is meant for bigger jobs 
but with this machine you can do precise work and that's why I built the stand. So about uh, dimensions, um, first let's give you some absolute dimensions about this stand. Um, the base frame is 32 centimeters uh, square. It's made from tubing 5 millimeters thick, uh, 70 by 40 millimeters. Um, the uh, stand here in the back is made from uh, 40 millimeters square tubing, 4 millimeters thick. The center height is 8 centimeters. Um, for the grinder uh, clamp, um, it is also 8 centimeters uh, thick, but I think you have to make it fit your own grinder. Um, the stand for the pivoting point is 10 centimeters apart from each other. Uh, don't make it too narrow uh, because if you make it wider it could uh, take a little bit more uh, force. The bolt inside is 8 millimeters. Uh, uh, I made it from brass so it would move a little bit easier and don't have any uh, friction or less than steel at least. Um, and yeah, that's, I think that's about it. The uh, grinding plate, um, I made the, the grinder itself, uh, made it level. And then I made the plate at the uh, center height. Uh, the frame itself is uh, 25 millimeters square. It's solid steel, uh, so one inch uh, steel. I could have made it from tubing, but I had this, and uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it it helps with the solid build, so um, uh, I use that. Uh, this is 18 centimeters. The base is eight centimeters. Um, the hole inside here. Um, is around 11 and a half centimeters. Uh, you want to make it uh, big enough so if the wire wheel uh, spins it will uh, get bigger through the uh, rotating forces. So uh, keep in mind that I didn't for the first time. Uh, and um, frame sideways. 30 centimeters and um, and about some relative dimensions uh, first of course make it fit your own angle grinder um, I've used two uh, M6 uh, bolts to fix the rotating forces on it um, and also be able to adjust it uh, to make it square. Uh, put some aluminium in between so I don't turn the bolt in, into the plastic. Um, next is um, uh, I talked about it. You want to keep it compact, but still want to make the fixing point and the uh, pivoting point as far away as possible so you get a nice solid stand um, and I've been using it on the on the table like this but also used it in a vise a few times and then it's really nice to be able to rotate it so that's why I made the frame square so it will fit the vise in any directions um, and I want to make it compact um, 
because if I made this even bigger or uh, like this, then uh, the space in between for the uh, for the cutting uh, angle iron uh, in the middle won't be supported. Um, this one is not gonna bend, but uh, yeah, that's why I didn't made it too big, but still. Uh, be able to use it in any vise uh, that I had. So um, uh, make sure that uh, if you put it in the vise, that uh, make it compact, but uh, still be able to use it in the biggest vise jaws that you have. Uh, so take your uh, dimensions of that and make just a little bigger and make it square so you'll be able to rotate it in any direction um, so yeah I think that's about it um, if you have any more questions then uh, please comment and I'll try to re reply uh, on all of them and um, yeah I'll be using it uh, for a lot of projects in the future so if you want to see more then uh, Please subscribe if you didn't already and see you next time.